its role play is there it just like where you get into the character and you are able to do that if you remember the good old time where you would have done some play or skit and there in school where you get into the character and become the character and do that right so i'm not to show how many would have uh, of you have uh, done so have you any one of you have participated in any of the skit or a play in school okay bhumika has done that so bhumika what was the role which you played like um um uh, i was a rich lady wearing sari you were a rich lady i was oh okay i had to wear ornaments and all fantastic fantastic uh, they took uh, that was in drama and i have also done yakshagana fantastic very good did you enjoy this uh, task yes sir okay uh, so it was uh, what was the strength of the audience uh, in front of whom you have to do this yeah they were all shouting <laughs> they were all, all shouting all were, yeah, yeah most okay. of them were my friends okay okay so that was in school yes okay okay fabulous uh, brilliant uh, how about others anybody else okay no one uh, when you get an attempt uh, even now if you get in chance to no, just do that so that takes the butterfly of your thing when you go on to the stage you know the first time you enter on the stage you look right so you just get nervous you don't know what to do how to do and all you forget your dialogues right so i remember few of my uh, things right so which we have done so it was fun so we should all indulge in that and life is all about doing something different yes of course if you are comfortable right and if you are very introvert and all then uh, probably yes uh, maybe you can think about that but other than that life is all about doing these kind of a thing where you you can sit back and look back and see wow i did this so this was great experience and today in today's world i'm sure bhumika would have also taken some picture uh, do you have some pictures as well bhumika which was taken okay you mute it mute 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 okay forgot uh, i have those pictures in my mobile i'll show it tomorrow uh, oh okay fine yeah, sure. so no i uh, fine uh, you certainly can uh, another thing is that why i asked this is that in today's age um you can take pictures and that's kind of a memory as well and tomorrow and uh, down the memory lane you can always show to Uh, yeah, uh, the next generation and say yes, uh, your mama did this or your uh, grandma did this and all those things. So that is uh, what life is all about, right? So she is uh, giggling. So she is what a kind of a laugh. This laugh will help you to ease out because you slept for three hours only. So that is an attempt. Okay, brilliant. So uh, let's uh, carry on. Uh, let's uh, do this. So let me give you this task. Uh, here we go. So uh, let me. bring up that okay uh, you got to just give me one second because i'm looking at the excel i've created so many sheets uh so i need to find where it is because that has all my tasks which i have thought about which we can do in the class and uh, just give me one second okay here it is it's on the same sheet i didn't have a look okay brilliant so role play i just explained the activity now i'm sure all of you are very clear right so i'm sure nothing more to add to it so let's uh, start with uh, so let's go to uh, uh, sharanya and habsa right so uh, sharanya and habsa i'll give the first task uh, habsa are you clear about this role play what we are going to do yes sir fantastic fantastic okay brilliant and uh, sharanya i'm sure you should be clear and crystal as well yes sir yes or no yes sir 
Okay, brilliant, fabulous. Okay, so let's uh, do that. So the first task would be let's uh, give the first task. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so the first task is like uh, where Hafsa, you would be a bus conductor. Hafsa would be a bus conductor and Sharanya would be a passenger. So maybe this is the same bus by which uh, uh, Sharanya is going to travel from Kollam to uh, uh, Mangalore, I believe. I believe 10th you are back, right? Is that what it is, Sharanya? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, fine. So, uh, so imagine that uh, Hafsa is a bus conductor, Sharanya is a passenger, right? So Sharanya, when she is traveling on that particular bus, she has three questions to ask to Hafsa, right? So what are the three questions you can ask uh, Sharanya? So that is something, uh, uh, do you have any thought? And let me also tell you one very important thing. There is something known as close-ended and there is something known as open-ended questions. Close-ended and open-ended questions. Does anybody know what is the difference between close-ended and open-ended? Okay, if you don't know, uh, that's uh, perfectly fine, no issues with that. I am going to explain to you what is close-ended and open-ended, right? So, for instance, if I say, um, Sharanya, um what what did you study in uh, your uh, college so she will say i studied uh, for instance math or something right so that is uh, like in close ended because there is no opportunity to expand on that similarly if i ask hafsa hafsa where do you stay i stay here okay that's all done so this is a close ended but open ended is like if i ask uh, sharanya Charanya, which college did you study and why did you choose this college? Now it's an open-ended. Open meaning it will opening up questions where the other person can elaborate on that particular answer. You know why I chose this particular college? This was very near to my house and many of my friends also studied there. And another very important thing is that the studies is really good. This is one of the best college in our vicinity. And uh, also my parents insisted I take this college so that I don't travel long. So that's why I chose the college. So that is like an elaboration. So that is possible only with an open-ended. So I believe, Sharanya, you're clear. These are the three questions which you will ask Hafsa. Is that clear? OK, yes. what are you actually? Passenger. Okay, you are a passenger. Why your voice goes very feeble? I think you're staying, uh, sitting, talking very far away from uh, the, uh, what do you call the speaker or maybe the mic. So that is something. Okay, fine. So Hafsa, you are clear. She will be asking three questions to you and you will have to respond. Okay. And uh, now then in the next scenario, Hafsa will be a uh, now Sharanya would be an vegetable vendor. Sharanya would be an vegetable vendor. And Apsa will ask. Apsa is the customer who's buying the vegetable. So she will ask three questions to Sharanya. Okay. So Sharanya is the vegetable vendor. Apsa is going to ask the three questions. So uh, it could be your imagination. What do you want to ask him? Hapsa, is it clear? Yes, sir. Fantastic. So let's uh, uh, work out the questions now. And uh, now in the class itself, I'll give you some time where you can make these questions, right? As a vegetable vendor, what are the open-ended questions you can ask? And as a passenger, what uh, Sharanya can ask Hapsa, right? The conductor. Okay, brilliant. So let's have this uh, thing done. So let me go to uh, Nikita and Kanchana. So let me see what task I can give to Nikita and Anjana. Right. Okay. So uh, in the first uh, task, um, 
Um, Kanchana is the team leader, and uh, Nikita is the team member. She is going to ask three open-ended questions to Nikita, where she can talk. Right? Three open-ended questions. Okay. Now, in the next scenario, the next scenario, uh, Nikita is a telecaller. The product is something she can choose. Kanchana is the customer. Right? So, Kanchana is going, Nikita is going to ask three questions to Kanchana where she will expect the answer from Kanchana. Right, so this is a task. So let's uh, do uh, this here itself. Right, uh, so it takes five minutes of time and just think uh, in detail what you want to ask and all. Right, so that is something we can do. So for Bhumika, I'll come back to you maybe another day. Right, so we will align somebody. So it won't take much of your task uh, time, uh, Bhumika, because uh, very, very simple thing you will be able to do. That. Okay, brilliant. So I'll give you some time so that we can frame this thing, we can do this activity tomorrow. And uh, for rest of the participants, uh, we can uh, just wait for some more time. Maybe we'll give another day.
How is it going? Is it done? Okay. We'll take another couple of minutes, then I can uh, probably help you with the framing one. Okay, so let's uh, look at uh, what are the questions you have. And uh, right, I think it was, uh, I'm sure you would have uh, done that. So let's uh, go one by one um, in the, what you call sweet sequence, how I gave uh, the task. So let's check with uh, uh, Sharanya first. Sharanya, what are your questions? Should I uh, tell the questions? Yes, yes, please tell the question so that Hafsa can prepare and come tomorrow and do the task. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, first question is, uh, will this bus take the route to Mangalore? Is it an open-ended or a close-ended? Close-ended. Sorry? Close-ended. Yes, so it has to be open-ended. Where? So it has to be an open-ended one, right? So what could be the question? Okay, what is the next question? Let's look at what's your next question. Uh, how much for Mangalore State Bank? <laughs> That's a game and close-ended. Okay, what's the last one? What's the last one, Sharanya? Four questions actually. You got only two questions. Okay, fine. So I'll just. No, sir. No. Actually, I have four questions. Okay, but all are. Uh, okay, what are the four questions? You said two. What are the other two? And, uh, the third one is uh, like if she has, if she says, uh, any, I asked how much for Mangalore, right? So if she says uh, 45 or 50, so uh, 50, uh, I paid uh, only 40 for another bus. Uh, that will be my question. Okay, then why don't you straight away ask the question to her? Uh, why you are